What's going on guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with a brand new episode of Beer Reviews and welcome to our second installment of our Leinenkugel series. Tonight we're going to be reviewing the Juicy Peach uh, coming in at 4.4% ABV. On the front it says refreshing and tart with natural peach flavor. Pretty excited about this. I've never had a peach beer ever. And I'm a pretty big fan of peaches and peach flavored things. Like peach soda, peach candy, peaches, things like that. Peach gobbler, love that. So I feel like this is gonna be a good beer. So let's crack into this. This is the second beer we've done out of the Lodge Pack from Lime and Kugel so far. And last night's beer was fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic. That one was the Snowdrift Vanilla Porter, which was excellent. I smell peaches, but it's kind of like a dirty peach, if that makes sense. Like, kind of like a peach that came from a butt. I can't believe I said that, but that's 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 honest to God the aroma I'm getting. Yeah, it's got it's a, it's a. It's just, it's just a little. <laughs> Normally, I would just stop the video and redo it, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it in. It's, it's very farty on the aroma. Maybe not. Well, I was gonna say maybe not so much now, but it's, it's definitely still there. All right, maybe, hopefully it smells better out of the glass than it does the can. Two finger head. Looks like a typical lager. Maybe slightly foggy, maybe slightly hazy, I should say. The smell I smell the peach, but it's like butt peach. I don't know, I, that could just be me. I don't know if anyone else out there that has reviewed this has got the same thing. It's just, it's not a clean peach smell is what I'm trying to get at. It's, it's, it's dirty. Let's just see what the taste offers. Cheers guys. Much better taste than the aroma. I'm a little conflicted. It's good. It's a good beer. It's not as good as the beer we had yesterday, which was the uh, Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. But, that smell is just, I smell the peach, it's just not, it does not smell like a fresh peach. It smells like maybe a peach that's been on the verge of maybe going bad. It's good, it's tart. There is a sweetness. It's not overly sweet by any means, it's just there. I like it, but I'm not big on the finish. It finishes tart with a little bit of bitterness, but the bitterness is kind of, the bitterness is just a little bit off-putting for me. It's not, it's not a fantastic flavor, I'll put it that way, but it's also not bad. I could definitely 
drink this, especially at 4.4%. They, these are, they're slammable. They're smooth, but. This might be one of the most difficult beer reviews that I've done to date because I like it, but the finish is something that I'm not overly impressed with. It's it, it it's kind of almost dirty in a way, kind of honestly, kind of like the smell. I mean. Initially, the beer is good, but then that it's just the aftertaste is just something that I'm not too fond of. We're going to go in one more time, and I'm going to attempt to give this beer a rating. Having a very difficult time with that so far. Excuse me. It's not bad, but it's not a beer that I would buy. It's not a beer that I would want to drink again. And I have two more in the fridge. I'm struggling with the number here. I'll give it, okay, what we gave last night's the Snowdrift Vanilla Porter, which was excellent. I gave it a 9.1. This one, I think I'm gonna go with a I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven because I see what they're trying to do, and they did su they did succeed in my opinion. It's just it's just not working as well as I thought it would with me. So I'm just gonna leave it at a seven. It's a good beer. It's a well crafted beer. It's just it's a little dirty on the finish for me. That's just my opinion. I mean, that's just me. Never had a peach beer before. This is my first time having one, and I can say that it's 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 decent for what it is, but it's just not as good as I was expecting it to be, and the finish is a little weird, as well as the smell. So I'm going to leave it at a 7. That's going to be my review, guys, on the Juicy Peach by Linen Kugel. Stay tuned next weekend because we got two more beers from this Lodge Pack that I'm really excited to try. So anyways, that's the review for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if there's any beers you want me to review, leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get to that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, until next time, cheers. I I'm not gonna take another drink of that.